For this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can make these fluffy looking trees. And then I'm just going to be talking about how you can make them in Blender and then the lighting settings within Roblox Studio to achieve this look. First, open up Blender. I'll leave it down in the link in the description. I'm using the version 2.9. Just delete everything. And then we're going to add a plane. So you click add, mesh, then plane. Then just rotate it up. Also, if you're wondering how I'm doing any of this, the keystrokes will be showing over here. So now we're just going to duplicate it. Actually, let's go to edit mode first. Switch object mode to edit mode. Now just duplicate it. Enter and then rotate it by 90 degrees. And then you should have something like this. Then before we continue, we should get our leaf texture. So let's just go make our leaf texture. I'm going to be using Photopea, which is a free browser photo editing image software. So uh, if you want to be using this, I'll leave a link in the description of it as well. So let's just make a new project and let's just make this size 900 by 900. Now, what you're going to be doing is making just a bunch of leaves scattered around for your leaf texture. And you always want the leaves to be like starting from the center, go this way, and then the leaf should be facing like this. Go this way, the leaf should be facing like this. And then you keep doing that for every other leaf. That's how leaf textures are usually there like. So like they're always facing like that. So something like that. All these leaves over here, leaves are scattered around. So let's just do that. And there you go. Something like this would be good. You can see I added different sizes of leaves. Some leaves are within other leaves. I'm going to rotate some of them a bit around. Now we're just going to get rid of the background. There's a transparent background. And we're also going to make the color of it white. So just make it white instead. We're making it white so we can change it to any other color. Because of the new Roblox Studio update where you can change the color tint of surface appearances. Because it's white, we can make it any other color then. So yeah, just make your leaves white and make it scattered like this. Now, the one last thing we're going to do is go to filter, blur, and then choose Gaussian blur. And then we're not going to make it too much. We're just going to make the edges of your leaves slightly blurred. This makes it so it's smooth and fluffy looking and not sharp. And done. Now that you have your leaves all blurred and everything, we're going to download it. Now let's go back to Roblox. Oh. Now let's go back to Blender. We're actually just going to delete that one right there. We're just going to leave one. And what we're going to do is go to UV editing and then click open right here and then open up the leaf texture. So here's my leaf, open image. And then we're going to click on this red circle right here. New, press the yellow circle next to base color, click image texture. Click this image icon, or no, click open first, and then open up the leaf again, and then make sure it's selected, then click over here, just right next to your plane, hold Z, and then click on material preview. Make sure you see your leaf texture on the plane, but there's going to be a black background. We want it to be transparent. Fix that, go to shading up here, drag alpha to alpha down here, go back to UV editing. Scroll down while the red circle is selected and change blend mode opaque to alpha clip. And now it's transparent. You can go back to layout and then again hold Z and then click material preview to get this texture back. And there you go. Now we have our leaf texture and a transparent background of it. Now we're just going to be using this to make like a blob of different uh, leaves to get like a bush. And in order to do that, you can do one simple way, which is just going to edit mode and then just pressing shift and D and then click of clicking to duplicate it and then pressing R twice, moving it around and doing that repeatedly. Duplicate, press R twice, moving it around, then double left click and then just keep repeating that. And you can of course change the sizes. Then you can select all of it, duplicate, 
it across and just get a blob shape. And then there you go. Something like this should be fine. It looks like a bush. There's a bunch of leaves. Now, if you look at it as is, the shadows are kind of off and we can make it better looking. In order to do that, we're going to click add mesh and then we're going to add a UV sphere. Now just make the sphere covered and bigger enough than the actual bush. The little bits can show that's fine. It doesn't matter. And then what we're going to do is select the plane up here, select the plane, which is your bush. Go to this wrench icon, add modifier, and we're going to add data transfer. Now click on the eyedropper next to the source and click on the sphere up here. And then after you've done that, we're going to open up the face corner data. We'll check mark it first, have it opened, and then click on custom normals. Now we can just turn off this eye icon next to the sphere so we can turn it off. Then click on the plane, go to the green triangle down here, click on normals, and then check auto smooth. That should make the lighting better. We're basically up here, it should be light, and then down here should be darker in within Roblox Studio. But if you look right here, like this is dark where it shouldn't really be. To fix that, we can click on this down arrow down here, then click on face orientation. Now just look at an angle where it's mostly blue. But let's say this angle right here, select it change object mode to edit mode and then press L to select any of the red parts and just keep on doing that select all of the red parts and I'm moving it around to see if I got the red part selected and if you're having trouble selecting them make sure it's like to like vertex mode go over here like that and then just hover over the dots of the actual red parts and just press L on them and after I got most of it Click Alt and End, and then click on Flip. I'm going to do that to, or you can either flip them, or you can just rotate it so it's blue. Just rotate it till it's blue. Now you're only doing this while looking at one side. It doesn't all have to be red. So like I look at it from this side, it's mostly blue, which is what I want. The rest can be fine. Like this side is red, which is fine. You just want like a blue and red side, basically. There you go. It should look something like this with the reds and blues. Now, if you go back to like turning off this, the face orientation, you can see that look down here. It's dark and up here. It's bright, which is good. This is how it will look like in Roblox Studio. And this is nice. This looks really fluffy and nice looking. It'll also not be sharp edges. It'll be soft because we made it. We did the Gaussian blur to the leaf texture, so that will make it even more soft. Now we can export this file, export, and then let's just save it as an FBX and then upload it to Roblox Studio. Now in Roblox Studio, let's just go to click home, then click on import 3D. And let's just open up the leaf. So then here's our leaf. Uh, you can turn off, I forgot to delete the plane, but you can just turn off the plane over there. Just uncheck it so it doesn't get uploaded. But yeah, delete the sphere before exporting or just turn it off here. So then import. Now here's our leaf. Let's just size it down. Now I'm going to be showing a few things you have to do to this for it to look proper. So we're going to ungroup this and then click on the plane and then the explorer, go to properties, copy the texture ID, go back to the plane, click the plus next to the plane, and look up surface appearance. Now surface appearance should be within the plane. Click the surface appearance and go to properties and then just paste the what we just copied into color map and then change overlay to transparency and there you go there's our leaf and like i said because we made the leaf white you can go to surface appearance and then go to properties and then change its color to any other leaf color we want and again that's only possible because the texture is white so let's just make it some green color And there you go. And one more thing, um, this is optional. With leaves, I don't really want them to be shiny looking. Uh, in order to fix that, go to the toolbox, go to decals, and just look up white. And you just want a white texture, something like this is fine. Um, can you right click it? Yeah, you can right click it and then click on copy asset ID. 
then go back to the surface appearance within the bush, go to properties, and then just paste that ID into roughness map. And there you go. You can see the difference it makes. I honestly just like this one more. And in order to get this, you just basically put the white texture within roughness map. That's all it's doing. So yeah, if you don't, if you want like this, then you can just skip that step, but I want it like this. So we're going to keep it like this. Now this next step is actually really important. If I size this down, you can see it looks weird. It's basically like a bunch of black outlines, but then every leaf and you don't want that. That looks weird. So like if you have a leaf that's far away, it will look really weird looking. It, it just, it doesn't look right. In order to fix that, you're going to have to download a some sort of software application that fixes it. Basically, this is a good example. There's a black, there's a subtle black outline within every texture of the leaf, and you want it to be like this, no black outline. In order to fix that, I found this within the dev forum, which is called Pixel Fix. So you just have to download Pixel Fix, which is over here, click this link, and it should take you to the download page. After you download this, I'll be showing you how to use it, and I'll also leave a link in the description of this dev forum. So all you do is just drag the leaf texture onto the Pixel Fix software. This will pop up just wait till it lets you know that you can leave so just keep waiting then there it says press any key to exit so just press anything and then the leaf texture should be fixed you just re-upload this to the leaf texture in roblox studio so if i make this smaller again and if i go out you can see that annoying black outline so let's re-upload the fixed image these are two models let's re-upload the fixed image go to color map add image and just open up the fixed image create and let's look at it and there you go you see this was this is how it was before and then that's it fixed and if you want it even fluffier then you can add even more blur to your leaf so if i go back to photopia then go to filter and then more gaussian blur just increase this get even more blur even more softer but you don't want too much because then you'll just have very, very blurry leaf. Okay. Now let's just export this. And then again, you're going to have to put this within the pixel fix software. I'm going to duplicate this. Add in the new image. And then there you go. You can see the difference. This one has more blur to it and this one has less. And this one will just look softer. Oh, I forgot one more thing. Select it and then select it and then click on double-sided so you so you can turn around and see all of it because when this one geez, when this was off I couldn't see the back of it so just turn it on there you go you can get your trunk anywhere like you can make it from blender or just find one from the toolbox honestly i'm just gonna look up tree and find the trunk i like Okay, we're gonna try using this trunk. Maybe I'll change it, but let's just use it for now. And we're just gonna duplicate and move this bush across. And there you go. We're gonna like that one, so we're just gonna delete it, but there you go. Something like this is good with using the leaf texture that we made. Now let's go to lighting and let's change some of the settings. So you wanna decrease this, not that one, this one, if you want even more shadow. So like when I put this all the way down, you'll see it's just dark shadow and then the light. You can, so basically, yeah, just lower this down if you want some of, some shadows to show. So let's lower it down a bit. And then I'm gonna increase the light just a tiny bit and then the both ambience will also affect how dark um like how dark there you go how dark the shadows will be and the color of it since we're outside and it's the sky is blue let's make the shadow colors blue so we're gonna make the ambient blue and then just raise this until we see the blue of the shadow
Let's make it a teal color. I'll do the same thing with the outdoor ambient shadow. Doesn't really work for some reason, but yeah, there you go. So we make the shadow colors slightly blue. And then we can lower the this thing over here to get even more shadow. I'm going to increase the exposure just a tiny bit. And then the shadow softness, if you want the least softer, increase this by a lot. And then same thing for the other way around. So like over here, it's harsh. Drag this all the way up, softer. Let's make it soft. So yeah, drag this all the way up. Now I'm going to be adding color correction. With color correction, I always just do 0.05 for each of them. And then depending if you want it to be very vibrant, increase saturation. And then I'm going to add bloom. And that's it. You can also add wind to the leaves. I've done a tutorial on how you can add wind. So if you want to know how to add wind to the leaves, follow the tutorial. I'll leave a link of the video on how to add leaves or how to add wind in the description below. If this video helped, please consider subscribing or at least leave a like. Comment if you have any questions and I'll try to respond. And thanks for watching. Bye.